topic is probability of an event. So probability, which we have already talked about a little bit. I'm going to click on probability here. So probability is the number that tells you how likely an event is to occur. Is to occur. Goodness gracious. Um, an event is just something you want to happen. So when I, a coin is flipped, the probability of getting tails, we want tails, is one out of two. It's one because there's only one side that's tails, but there's two possible sides that it could land on, heads or tails. So when we're doing probability, we look at how many total outcomes that goes on the bottom. So how many possible outcomes are there? And then the top is how many you want to happen. This is your, your kind of um, your ideal event, I guess you could call it, or your ideal outcome. I'm sorry, not event. Um, so it's just a way of, of showing how likely something is to happen. All right. So a box is filled with four blue cards, three green cards, and five yellow. A card is chosen at random from the box. What is the probability that the card is not green? Um, so first, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to change my thing to blue. And I'm going to go to the top. So I have four blue. I have three green. And I need yellow. I don't know if you'll be able to see that very well. Yellow. Um, let's see, I'm going to close that back down so it doesn't take up too much space here. All right, so a card is chosen from random, and they want to know how what's the likelihood of it not being green. So I'm going to change this over to, I'll just do, do black for now. So first we need to know how many total there are. So we have to, we have to add all these together. What do we get? We get 4 plus 3 is 7, plus 5 more is... 12. All right. So this is my total number of outcomes. Um, if I reach into the box, I can choose any of those 12 cards that are in there. Four are blue, three are green, five are yellow, but I can choose any one of them. Now what I want to choose is something that is not green. So I don't want this green. I want this one of these four blue or one of these four yellow. Either one of those meet the criteria of being not green. So together, I have four plus five, which is nine, right? So switching my colors here again. Sorry, this is a very colorful board. So I have nine out of 12. The other part of this problem that we didn't read quite yet because we were still processing that first part was write your answer in as a fraction in simplest form. So we not only need to make sure that we write as a fraction, but we need to simplify it. There is a video called Simplifying a Fraction if you do need help on that idea. Um, so with this one, I know that 9 and 12 both divide by 3. So I'm going to divide them both by 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So the likelihood of me reaching into this box and randomly choosing a card that is not green is four thirds. That's a pretty good likelihood, honestly, because f three is pretty close to four. I, if I turn this into a percentage, that'd be 75%. So I have a 75% chance of grabbing a card that's not green. I only have a 25% chance of grabbing a green card. So this kind of thing would depend like say it was a game but you could only win if you grabbed a green card so that's not as fair I only have a 25% chance of winning but if you could win not grabbing a green card you have a 75% chance of winning so it kind of depends on why these cards are in a random box and you're choosing one randomly um, but the this again probability is kind of a practice in fairness and um, a lot of things that we do normally, or even ads on TV, actually work with probability a little bit against the consumer. Um, so that they kind of understand that, that people react to things differently based on um, how it's presented on a screen or something like that. So um, 
they will use this idea to get you to buy their products um, because they can kind of gamble with it on what they know will work. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get this started. So a bag contains 15 cards numbered one through 15. A card is randomly chosen from the bag. What is the probability that the card has an even number on it? All right, so I'm gonna go to my handy colors here. I'll do green and, or blue again. So I have cards one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So here are my cards numbered one through 15. And I want to know uh, what is the probability of me choosing a card that has an even number on it. So I want only evens. So here I am circling all the evens. So we know we have the 15 cards, right? So I'm gonna to go to a different color here. So I, I can choose any one of those 15 cards. But I only want the circled one. So I want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven of them are even, which means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight of them are odd, which works out. Seven plus eight is 15. But to choose an even one, so there's one less even than there is odd. So we have seven out of 15. Seven is a prime number, meaning it can only divide by itself in one, and it, 15 cannot be divided by seven. So I know this is my end answer, seven fifteenths. Ta-da! All right, next. All right, a bag has four, let's see, can I get brown, oops. I wanna get, I think that's kind of a brownish color. Go with that, okay. So uh, a bag has four brown marbles and 16 blue marbles. Ooh, why didn't it change to blue? All right, there we go, 16 blue marbles. Half of the blue marbles, so I'm gonna go like this and draw like a little half line here. Half of the blue marbles are, and I'm gonna do like this light blue, it's kind of, whoops, why didn't I pick it? Baby blue, what in the heck? Baby blue, that's what I want, all right. So half of the blue mar er, marbles, and I got I have half written, so eight and eight, that's half. So half of them are plastic. So we'll say the dark blue ones here are plastic. We don't necessarily know what the other ones are, but we can kind of guess. It's a marble, it's probably glass. I'm gonna go with glass. There's not a lot of other things that marbles are made out of. Maybe. Um, maybe stone, um, but generally I think it's glass or plastic. So a marble is randomly chosen from the bag. What is the probability that it is blue, a blue plastic marble? So first, we want to know what's the probability total. So all the total outcomes, we add these together. So 16 plus 4 gives us 20. So there are 20 marbles in the bag total. And we want to know what is the probability that it is blue and plastic. So we only want these eight on top. Because it has to be one of those eight ones um, on this side in order to meet the criteria of being blue and plastic. So now we just want to reduce this. These both can divide by four. If you didn't notice the four and you just said, oh, they were even, I'm gonna start with two. That's perfectly fine. Just make sure if you start with twos, you'll have to divide by two twice because you want to get all the way down to two here because eight divided by four is two. 
tw um, 20 divided by 4 is 5. So if you started with 2s, you get 8 divided by 2 is 4. 20 divided by 2 is 10. You'd have to divide again because um, you want to keep going until it's completely simplified. All right, so we have 2 divided by 5. Check. Yay! All right, so these ones aren't too bad. It's a little bit more complex, but it's not too terribly bad. Let's go ahead and erase this one. We have one more. All right, a box is filled with... Focus on that tiny little button there. All right, we have three... I like my colors, but my colors don't seem to want to work right now. All right, I'm going to move it over here so I can stop closing it. Oh, that's why this little cursor wasn't moved up. Okay, so we have, woof, that is a very, this is a little bit more my preference, just because it was hard to read there. So three yellow cards, and I'm going to do this quick snap because that's a little easier. This is me just arguing with my pen here. Okay. Six red cards. And we'll go to brown down here. Six brown cards. All right, so we have three yellow, six red, six brown. The card is chosen at random from the box. What is the probability that it is a yellow or brown card? So our first job, we need to add these together. So we have three plus six plus six. So we have nine plus six more. We have 15. So I know there are 15 cards total um, in this box. So 15 possible outcomes. And I want to know the likelihood. Let's see what color have I not used. Green. The likelihood that it is yellow or brown. So we don't want it to be red. We want it to be one of these one of the yellow or one of the brown. So total, we have nine. We add those two together out of 15. Again, make sure you reduce. These can both divide by three. Nine divided by three is three. 15 divided by three is five. So we have a three-fifth chance of getting either a yellow or a brown card. So it's a pretty decent chance. It's more than 50, um, a little less than 80%. Um, so it's a, it's a pretty decent um, chance there to grab our yellow or brown card, but we don't necessarily know what is going on. Why do we want to grab a yellow or brown card? Is that how you lose? Is that how you win? Um, we don't truly know because they're not giving us enough information to understand the full game or, or what this is for. But that's the idea behind it. All right, we finished another one.